there. Welcome back to another episode of our Be Encouraged Moments. This is such a great time of year. Um, it's still cold. It's still winter. We get to bundle up mm -hmm. and whatever. Even in but, Arizona. <laughs> yeah. But I know living back east, um, and Larissa has lived in Ohio, so she's used to some of the cold from years ago, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, okay. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> it does get cold there. Um, that sometimes you feel like you're shut in. You get this big snowstorm, you can't go out, and you feel like you're alone. Or there's other scenarios that you feel like you're alone. Well, today I'm going to be talking about um, us being remembered. And not just by mm. God, because we know we're remembered by God. And we're going to get into that a little bit later, but by other people. All right, I'm going to go back to like Christmas time. Yay. A couple months ago. Um, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, many times have seen the, the movie Home Alone. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ah! So if that really happened, um, I know the child, if it happened to me, I would be a basket case, complete basket case. And I don't even know how that would happen, but I would be like, where's my child? Oh my goodness. I have a sister who has seven children, so I, I even can't imagine her leaving a child behind. But this movie, that's what happened. And then the child, um, Kevin, we know, um, he was left alone, but he made the best of it. But I know if my child, if Brandon was left, he might be a little freaked out and scared. And that would just tear me apart knowing that he might be scared. So I'm really glad that our Lord doesn't leave us alone. So this whole message of being remembered and being you know, alone and then remembered was brought up in one of our uh, MSW devotions a few weeks ago. And it just kind of stuck with me and I wanted to share it with you. So what we did, we have like 12, 13 people and um, we meet for devotions every week. And this year we had a little, I mean, this, this particular week we had a little task that we were going to do. An activity. Activity. So we all were given a piece of paper and we wrote our names at the bottom. See, Jan, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, bottom right corner. Bottom right corner, down here, <laughs> Jan. Um, and then what we did, once we wrote our names, then we passed it to the next person. And the next person would <laughs> write at the top what they thought about us in a good way. Okay, so it's like, be encouraging, um, say something, uh, a good attribute, or what they've done, or what they mean to you. I and love then, your smile. There you go. Really short, but... I don't know, this one here just kind of wrote on and on and on. She was the last one, so I had like all the time in the world. And it was, yeah. We were sitting next to each other. <laughs> it, it was very tearful when I read hers. But anyways, and some of them didn't put their name, who they were that wrote it. They just, this is my observa observation of you. And then you fold it down and you give it to the next person on the left. And they, again, see the name at the bottom, Jan. Oh, I got to write about Jan. And they wrote, write something. And then it goes all the way around the room until you get it back. And I'll tell you, it was very emotional when I got it back and got back to my desk or at home. I wouldn't read it at work, actually. I took it home because I knew I would be emotional. And just reading it. And it brought me to tears because of what people thought about me, the mm -hmm. good things. And I'm like, really? Wow, um, that's really cool. They remember me in a particular way. And I can't say that any two were the same thing. It was really amazing. Um, and I just thought that would be a really good thing if you're with a group of people, even if it's just three or four. I think that would be an amazing thing to share how you remember this person. And then to kind of, a, it's a keepsake kind of thing. Um, well, and it also gives you a lot of insight into, we always think we know how people view us. Yeah. And we're normally pretty wrong. <laughs> right. So this gives you an opportunity to actually see from, maybe, like I said, maybe they're anonymous, but you can see from the people in the room how they view you. Right. And it's really cool. Or I had ideas about me and it wasn't what they wrote, which is very, very interesting. But it definitely was a reminder that I'm not alone in this ministry. I'm not alone in this world, in this community at home. And I want you to know that you're not alone mm -hmm. either. Other, others recognize you 
and appreciate you in many ways, in ways that you may not even um, know. That might surprise you a little bit. So try this at your next group setting. I think you will like it. So it really meant a lot to me. And like I said, it really did kind of bring tears to my eyes. Like it took my breath away to think, wow, this person hasn't even been with our ministry very long and they wrote that. That's pretty awesome. There was a sense of belonging. Mm, yeah. And it made me feel valuable. And I know sometimes we don't feel that. We feel that we're kind of thrown off to the corner and that we don't really belong with any group. Um, or like what Larissa talked about last week, uh, keeping up with the Joneses. Sometimes we feel like um, we can't do that anymore, but if we don't do that, then nobody will like me or I feel alone, those kind of things. But when we do something like this, we know that others really do appreciate certain parts, big parts of the individual of who you are. And just knowing that God sees you brings such great humility and it's an honor to be a part of his family. And he, um, in scripture, he reminds me all the time how much he loves me and that he's there and that he'll never leave me or forsake me or leave me hanging out to dry. That's just not the case. Somehow I know that everything's gonna be all right when I'm going through something because I am not alone spiritually and physically. I know I have a friend, I have Larissa. I can call her any time of day because she's up like way late when, <laughs> and I'm like up really early. I probably shouldn't call her like at four o'clock because she probably wouldn't be awake, but you never know. <laughs> she's just holds these weird schedules. But honestly, you know, I have friends and this little exercise um, really showed me that I have people who truly appreciate me. And I want you to know we truly appreciate you. We may not know everything about you, but you're listening to us. So there's something there that there's a connection. And I want you to know that we love you and that we care for you. There are a couple of takeaways that I hope that you get. Always remember that you are remembered. You're never alone. Be encouraged has that statement that says you're not alone. God cares, we care. And that is so true. We tell people that all the time. And then the second takeaway is I hope that you will remember other people in your lives. Even if you don't have a group setting, maybe just sit down, do something weird, write a letter, a handwritten letter, <laughs> and put it in the mailbox. Or if you don't know their address, hand it to them and just say, I want you to know that I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And that's going to change their lives. It'll change that day, that moment that they read that, I'm sure. You're not alone and they're not alone. And I think that's such um, a powerful message. Absolutely. You are valuable and you belong to the Lord. Thank you, as always, for joining us for our Be Encouraged Moments.